we have to talk about the free body problem. Oh my God. So I'm a big sci-fi head. Most of you will know this. Um, I read a lot of sci-fi. I watch a lot of sci-fi um, in the sci-fi community on Reddit. I'm flipping, watching other sci-fi YouTubers talk about things and break stuff down. And I've known about this uh, for a while. Um, it's based on a. Um, it's based on a group of. It's based on a on a free on free books um, by this Chinese author. Man, the name is um, what do you call it? Forgets me at this moment, but. There was originally a TV series made about it in China, um, in Chinese, um, that I didn't watch in the end. I forgot, like, I kind of just always kind of left it to the by and kind of never got around to watching it. But I did enjoy the concept of it, right? Um, a little bit high level, a little bit high... I, I, would, I, I, would, I say you say high sci-fi in terms of, you know, the concept and shit. And mostly a story, from what I've been able to kind of gauge, that didn't really focus a lot on the characters. It's more so like high concepts of, like, you know, what would civilization do if a you know, if a, uh, if, a, an a if a, a, if, if aliens from another planet were trying to come to earth and basically declare their intentions to kind of, you know, collaborate, work together with people on earth or take over and they gave people a timeline and shit, how would the, uh, how, how would earth react basically in terms of protecting itself or trying to collaborate with these, um, other beings. And this series does amazing, amazing job at trying to simplify these really high level concepts in that book. And it does a really good job in terms of making them into, or pers no, it does a really good job of kind of grouping together some of the people involved in the actual book. Because I think in the actual book, the characters are kind of spread across a, a big group of, a big cast. They're not really dug in deep on their backstories, but you get a, quite a large cast of people. But in the Netflix series, they did a really good job in terms of kind of, you know, grouping two or three of them into one character and shit. And it's, it's done really well. And I think one of the best bits about this sci-fi show, I think similar... My 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 uh, description of it will be this. I felt like The Walking Dead. I got bored of The Walking Dead because at, at some point I felt like the relationships and the personal drama between each character wasn't important. If this like plague of zombies was going to be an ever an ever present you know thing in their lives, I would have liked to have seen more emphasis on like how do you rebuild a society with this looming threat in the background. Like what happens? You know what I mean? How do you how do you go on how do you go on living? How do you just try to make the best of the situation, knowing full well that there's these flesh eating humanoid zombies outside, right? Um, kind of wanting to kind of tear you apart. And it never quite did that. It just kept going in and in and in and in on the relationship. But I feel like Free Body Problem does a good job of laying out the premise of the story, um, giving you an idea on who the people are, the cast of characters involved, but then also trying to tell this like high level concept or trying to you know give it insight to high level concepts of like how does society respond <coughs> to this looming threat of like an alien civilization um coming to coming to earth are they going to be your friends or foes and it does a really good job of demonstrating just how difficult that would be to kind of like quell the fear of the people um stop extremism um resources um thinkings of way to kind of just you know stop the issue or whatever it may be those type of things are really hard to kind of figure out we've all kind of seen it obviously with what happened with covid and shit i think it really did a good job of kind of telling that story so i'm really excited for season two um season one was only eight episodes um most of them like an hour long and at first most people like myself were quite like, nervous when the producers oh sorry the creators of game of thrones were included involved in this but to be honest I think I think they got fairly lambasted, the Game of Thrones guys, because unfortunately for them, when the series reached what season four or five, they already ran out of source material because fucking George R. R. Martin, that fat lazy piece of shit, has been addicted to fame in the same way that Jordan Peterson let fun of fame get to his head and he got addicted to fucking benzos. Um, George R. R. Martin loves to get invited on a fucking panel to talk about his books and shit, but he doesn't finish them, right? He doesn't fucking finish writing his books, so. The fact he doesn't finish writing these books, these amazing masterpieces, right? He doesn't he doesn't finish kind of wrapping up these stories. These creators of this show had nothing to base it off from. That's why I think the free body problem is so good. The free body problem is good because the trilogy of books of the free body problems are already done. It's already done. It's already done. Right, so you can already pluck what you want from the books, kind of weave it. Because sometimes what what is what is depicted in books doesn't necessarily translate to TV series. So you have to be able to kind of you know make that kind of work and shit. And um, they didn't, right? They fucking didn't. But it is what it is. Um, oh, Coiler, you know what's funny? Coiler, you know what's funny? In the free body problem, Coiler, in the free body problem, 
there's an ape. There's a scene where they have to create some sort of uh, vessel that can freeze that that can freeze people so that they can kind of you know uh, they, they can freeze people temporarily so that because I think the aliens are like four hundred years light years away or four hundred years away so they can freeze people temporarily so that if you know so they can wait until the fucking aliens come and they use a monkeys to test it and the monkeys called Coiler. <laughs> I just took a screenshot of him but I was laughing my head off like the monkeys fucking called Coiler. It's absolutely incredible or oh, an ape or oh, monkey ape. Well you know what I'm talking about ape or monkey. Um, so that's fucking hilarious. But um, yeah man, I really. Re- I really recommend you check it out. Free Body Problem, an amazing series. Um, I don't again. I don't want to talk too much about it in detail because I don't want to spoil it. I probably did already, but please do check it out. It's an incredible, incredible series. It's on Netflix now, eight episodes long. If you're into sci-fi, I really do think you enjoy it. If you're into sci-fi, I really, really do think you will enjoy it. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 